Well, as the borders in Europe and parts of America are becoming less and less, um, we have spoken about the King of the North being synonymous with uh, Babylon, who is identified as the nation of America. But as we read in Amos chapter 1 verse 5, I will break also the bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants, the plain of Evin, and him that holdeth the sceptre from the house of Eden. And the people of Syria shall go into captivity into Kur, saith Yahweh. So this is the word. Um, now I've seen a few people think that those down the south of Israel could be an antichrist from Syria, possibly from Jordan. Could it be the Russian president? But uh, I would put to you that basically the, those that are opposing the conglomeration of nations from the north are those Muslim nations of the south. So some of the Arab League is actively against the one world government and yet there are three nations from the Arab king did not sign the agreement and therefore are now uprooted and also Iran are not part of the Arab League anyway. Back when they met at Sharm al-Sheikh in Egypt in 2000 which is a place that the Egyptian pharaohs met before they went to battle. So we see now that uh, the prophecy in Isaiah 17.1 and Amos 1.5 about Damascus in Syria um, perhaps shall be ready to be fulfilled. Some scholars say that Kerr is a variant of Kush, which is Susunia, on the south of Elam. So we see that Iraq has been uprooted by the king of the north, so that leaves now Syria, and also we see Iran also resisting the one world government king of the north conglomeracy, which is also represented in the UN. But a very interesting thing, in Amos 5 it mentions the sceptre from the house of Eden. Now there's no real um, authority it has a nation called Eden, or we know it's a uh, connected with uh, the Garden of Eden, so possibly, you know, we look at uh, nations such as Ethiopia that might hold that sceptre. But just to draw your attention now to, again, to the King of the North, and as we read about the Stone of Destiny came through the Irish tribes, and then by the Irish tribe, the Scots, until it eventually became the nation of Scotland. But here we see the Stone of Destiny, which uh, the kings of uh, Great Britain have, have used in their coronations. And we also see the um, capital of Scotland, which is Edinburgh. So I just wonder that if uh, the sceptre of Eden may be connected with uh, Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. And again, that's quite synonymous with the King of the North. And indeed, could it be possible that this, is, this will be the strong link to a possible King of Israel who may be handed power by the dragon? And the dragon really is represented by the Roman Empire, the Roman Church whom also Herod got his a great authority and power from in Israel. Now just after watching another bullshit video from Venom Fang X saying that uh, an Islamic dictator is going to take over the world and force his religion and give everyone a mark, um, which is a complete lie because um, it tells us in the book of Daniel that the king of the north is going to be victorious and it's the king of the north that's associated with the covenant and as a covenant breaker as we have just read in the prophecies in Daniel 11. And it's the king of the south who have, who's been defeated twice already. Yes, I think uh, because of the sake of the covenant, God will allow um, the king of the north again victory. It's already written. It doesn't really matter what uh, anyone says about that. I'm sure if anyone of you want to send me money so I can go out and speak to people on the street and to change their hearts for the Lord Yahshua, the Messiah, the king of kings, then by all means send money in to me. But uh, there is a lot of deception today that's going on for the hearts and minds of the people. Obviously the King of the South has his people covered by the one religion called Islam. But the King of the North um, desires a one world government and rulership, uh, one world religion. So that means that uh, all religions have to unite under the Antichrist who is going to be part of the King of the North Confederacy. Who will issue a mark to people and who will be put into concentration camps if they resist just like the Jews were in Nazi Germany. Now before we see how things play out and when China and Russia get involved, we can see the New World Order using every tool in the shed, you know, to get their way, using of course puppets in politics so as to bring about the necessary change in people's hearts and minds for the Christians to stop obeying the word of God and uh, more so obeying the state. 
and for the Muslim countries to come under the Arab League, which uh, see most of them are into the New World Order, but uh, there will be a great resistance, and already President Putin has named himself as the defender of Islam. So we're going to see how also Obama is pushing troops up into Russia, and this is probably going to be the start of a big conflict that uh, many of us have had dreams about North Korea, and we'll go into that a little bit as well. We see the, the double-headed goddess there of, of Janus, which the, the Vatican was built upon, and uh, that's it's the same day, uh, the 20th of January, that uh, the, the president is inaugurated. Uh, strangely, it's not a coincidence. Uh, then we see Mr. Bush pretending he's not eating too many pies, and yet, instead of good, healthy eating, according to the Word of God, you know, we see more people turning to these uh, New Age religions. And uh, when you look at a picture of Buddha, I just wonder sometimes why uh, people even consider that as a, an alternative um, for healthy, a healthy spiritual and physical life. When uh, you look at his example, um, just turning again um, to what the New World Order are doing. And, uh, you know, many of these kings, as I say, they use the hand signal, they are part of a secret society that are pushing for one world government, whether they are Muslim or Christian or even Jewish, they use the same hand signal and uh, these are to do with the three frogs that are spoken of that gather the nations into conflict and uh, there we see the potential king of the north in the third world war conflict, it could be himself or his son of course, and there's a picture of a phoenix in his back garden which represents at the end of the conflict it's also a picture in the UN as well that the phoenix will rise again and come to power um, after the conflict has ended and they, they estimate you know they want to have 500 million people remaining in, in the earth but uh, I think the Bible says that there will at least be a couple of billion left because I think it's about a third of the world's population will perish in this future conflict but turning more uh, now to see how uh, Russia is going to become involved in this. We see the double-headed eagle there. The eagle very prominent in all the flags of the kingdoms of the north. And as we read in Second Ezra, um, which we'll leave a link to another video I've done about that, we see the prophecy about the central head and the Antichrist coming out the central head and the western and eastern um, Roman empires coming into conflict in the last days, eating up each other's head, as it were possibly in a nuclear conflict, but uh, that's a little bit technical. But uh, let's just turn our attention, as we say, to Russia and President Putin, who looks a little bit there like a, a wolf in bear's clothing. But again, it's just the same scenarios in the book of Daniel, when we read about the three beasts, and um, perhaps the UN being the fourth beast. But again, all these empires will uh, come up and... Uh, when they are called by the Lord, and this nation will devour much flesh and will be part of the 200 million army with China that will come against the harlot and destroy her, as we will see. And Israel shall cry out to Yahweh, their father, and uh, ask him to bring the Messiah when these things happen, as it's explained here by my brother, the man from Odesso, and also Dimitri Dudman. Uh, missiles come from mainland China and hit Japan in this area. They strike Japan around here, like, could be even Okinawa, I don't know, but I, I believe it was probably mainland Japan. But there's one missile attack, they hit these guys, and the Japanese just quit. However, this is your warning, time to, to, to leave, time to get out of America, is right here when Japan folds and quits. Because uh, if you stay, you will be fighting Chinese and Japanese uh, on American soil. That's going to be happening. Russians are going to come and hold you.